This tutorial is an introduction to the Photoshop environment and what's very important is the names or labels that we put on the different parts of the Photoshop screen. So, to go through them one at a time, right up the top here, the place where all the menus are, uh, this is the menu bar in Photoshop and all of the different features in Photoshop can be accessed through this menu bar on some level. Directly underneath that menu bar we see an options bar and so I've got lots of different options depending on what tool that I'm in I've got all these options uh, for that tool. Over here at the left hand side and it's generally over the left hand side but we can move it if we want by clicking and dragging on this little title bar right up the top of it but this palette of tools is called the toolbar or, or toolbox and each individual icon inside that toolbar is a separate tool and in fact Photoshop has gained so many features over the different years that it became very very difficult to fit all of these different tools into the one toolbar and so what we have is in lots of different areas any of these tools where I've got a small black triangle down the bottom right hand corner of the icon that means that there are more tools in that space and if I want to see what all the tools are the easiest way to do that is just to click and hold and I'll get a menu to pop up beside it a sub menu which I can pick uh, an alternative to the tool that's there already. So at the moment I can see on this particular tool the lasso tool is selected but if I want to change to the magnetic lasso tool I can just click on it there and then I see the magnetic lasso tool icon pop up in that icon space. Down towards the bottom in this toolbox as well what we have is quite important is we've got the foreground and background colors identified so this identifies for any tool that you're using what the foreground color is if it chooses to use it and what the background color is and we've got different little icons above that that we can switch around uh, the different foreground and background colors as well so that's quite handy moving over to the right we've got the document window and depending on how many different images that I have open in Photoshop I should see different kind of document windows open or else different tabs in a single document window which we'll see later on but this is where all the action happens in terms of manipulating your images. And then over on this right hand side, and again it's generally over the right hand side, but these palettes are movable if I want, but we have what's called the palette dock or the panel dock. And I've got lots of different tools that I can uh, embed in this area, uh, but if I choose I can have them out as a floating uh, panel either. Uh, one of the more important ones down here at the bottom is the layers window so I can see all of the different layers and all the different tools and features that belong to layers at the bottom of this window as well. They're the main areas in the Photoshop window. Just to recap them over again, we've got the menu bar, we have got the options bar down in this area here, we've got the toolbar or toolbox and then we've got the panel dock over here with different panels including the layers window. And that's the environment of Photoshop.